Hey guys, this is Nigunum, and today we're going to have a more phenomenon of Power Rangers Morphers. Um, got these off from my cousin, so this is pretty recent. Um, so I'm just going to be showing off all the Morphers I have and some other stuff. So, first off, everyone knows this. My Shoto phone custom. Uh, now that I think about it, it doesn't look very much like the Shoto phone. It was a very lame excuse. But, whatever. Sometimes though. But, um, kick things off with the non-related Power Rangers toy. I have my Digimon, um, Digivice. Oh, it's yellow, and it still works, but I just need to get batteries, or put another battery in there, and then it'll work. So, yeah. Basically, um, my friend Derek has another one of these, and I'm hoping that this, this battling thing will work, because you... What you do is you take another one, oh sorry, and you peg it into here and you battle with your digivices. There's no actual off button, which was kind of, I guess, weird, because um, they should have off buttons there. But instead there's this reset button that you take a paperclip to. But on some versions, I've seen this little yellow button that you would put, that you would press, and that would be the reset button, same thing. So there's no actual way to turn it off besides taking out the battery, so there you have it. Digivice, and then next, let's go from oldest, so here we have the Zeomorpher, I'm pretty sure this is Zeomorpher, I see the star, the square, the circles, the triangles, the lines, uh, this is die cast, this part, the gold, all the gold on this piece is die cast, this black is, I don't know what happened here, but also this one does not work because battery corrosion, but what you basically do is you, there's this red, switch right here and you press it and this really heavy piece of die cast opens up revealing this very nice silver chrome piece with a red jewel in front but uh, there is no actual button pressing I bet I think it's just you just press this open and the lights flash and sounds uh, here wait, let me check on that sound thing there's no sound box either so or sound holes oh wait right there so I guess there was sound I never actually seen another Zeomorpher there it is. Ooh. I wonder what's going on outside. Uh, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Same thing. Battery corrosion. So it doesn't really work. It looks like a locker lock with the clickety wheel. And basically there's uh, about five little triangles here. There's one little triangle on the wheel. I think there's an LED in there, so I bet this lights up. There's all the colors. There's only one actual working button. So that's right there. You can tell it's different from the other ones. And I bet this one makes sound too. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, no, there's another one right here. There's two buttons. Alright. Uh, my bad. Sorry about that. Uh, but I, I've never actually seen Lost Galaxy, so that one's a little on the awkward side too. But I have seen a couple of Power Rangers in space. I, when I was little, I had one of these, and it was, like, my favorite morpher, because, um, what, what would happen, you press this open, and there would be, like, a keypad right here, and right here, there's, like, codes that you would punch into the keypad, and there's, like, game, Megazord, computer, vehicle, another vehicle, um, uh, and, I guess, morphing sequence, so... This one actually works, thank god, but it's very dinged up, and it's very chunky, too. But, yeah. So, it makes that sound. It's ready. Oh, okay. Well, and then basically, also, if you don't play with it for a while, it just makes that weird binging sound, so I guess that's to alert you. Also, the paint on here is rubbing off. I'm thinking of repainting it, but, yeah. This strap isn't from this one. It's from Lost Galaxy. But he didn't have a strap. So basically what you do is you flip this part open. And you can... It says 335. That's actually very accurate to the show. It's like... And you press this little EJ button. And there's a morphing sequence sound. Amazing. It's just beautiful to play with this. There's even a game where you just press random buttons. Let me show you that right now. And you press EJ. And you... Press the corresponding number with the sound. So, if you just don't do anything, let me show you the Megazord sound. Okay. 
uh, like Megazord combining sound. Uh, seven, six. Yeah, I guess that is the vehicle. Uh, uh, I'm not really sure what that. I think that's a gun or something. But this is just amazing. I love this toy. I recommend everyone get one of these and just wear them on your wrist. Forget phones. All right. So, and there's also this little. I think this is a standard on every single Megazord. This little comlink button. Also, the LEDs here are amazing. The placement of everything is just awesome. Wait, let me just turn that off. But it takes up two AA batteries, I think. AA or AAA, but, um, yeah, the placement works out everywhere. Next, I'll go into Ninja Storm. Here we got the Ninja Storm Morpher. So, I have all the medals, or little coins. Uh, I have two of the Yellow Rangers coins. I have red and blue. And then, yep. I think that's all. Let me look around. Here. Okay, yeah, that is all. Okay, so here he is. And then basically you turn it on. And then this button is the morphing button, I think. Yeah, mine is a little messed up, so that's why it sounds a little groggy and weird. But you can take these metals, there's specific grooves you're supposed to punch them into, and you just click, click that, press that again. Just What you're supposed to do is spin it. And let me show you that again from here, because there is some LED action right here. So you got that. Then you can press this. This is like the alarm button, which gets frequently annoying. Then this, this, I, I don't know what that is. I've never actually seen them press that button in the show, but. But yeah, you can swing that around. What I always thought funny in the show, they would wear this as if it was a normal everyday accessory. Like, like it's, as if it's a watch, but there you have it. Ninja Storm Morpher with its coins. Uh, next, we'll move into Thunderstorm. So, same series, just different Power Rangers. You got, this is the, I forgot to get the heads from his big toy box, but I don't think I'll be getting that back. Um, so, uh, there, doesn't turn on, sorry. No batteries. So, uh, all the buttons, there's, there's just one button on top, there's one button on the back, and you just press the button on the back, and the wings expand. So then you got this is the Crimson Ranger and Navy Ranger. I always thought these guys were pretty cool. A lot of nice sculpted detail in there. And then plug it in. And then just click. And then you would press this button and no LEDs, but it would like make sounds. And that's pretty much it. Uh, what's interesting to know is on all the metals or yeah they have like these sculpted detail they actually match with the symbol like this is crimson and it's got the dot and then just like kind of a curved edge so it's got that on the symbol uh... navy is the, the beetle zord so like that and then finally sorry it's a little finicky finally we have the last one which is the um, Green Ranger's Tornado Morpher, I think? Wind Morpher? Well, he's he's the Wind Ranger. That's, just basically, that's basically it. So, what you want to do is you want to go over here, on and off button. Basically, what you would do is he would hold it out, he would press it, it would spin inside there, make the same sound as that Morpher. You could press this button, too. Yes, so when you press this button, just keeps on making that sound until you press this button, it's been the inside, so let me show you what's going on in the inside. I don't think it's getting a very nice view, but same thing. You press this button, it spins the disc. Flashing LEDs gives a very nice view, but it's really big and chunky. Like, this doesn't fit in your pocket or your belt buckle. Uh, so I have two coins. I think this is the regular one. This is like the Samurai, Super Samurai version. So got that. Let me turn this off. 
overall, I really enjoyed finding all these morphers. Um, it was a real treat for me. Uh, especially the Pirate Space Morpher and the Digi Vice, which really isn't a morpher, but still. The rest of them are just bonus because uh, I've seen Digi Vices before, but I've never actually gotten my hands on one. They look really cool. Uh, I wish I had a phone like this. I remember there was this one phone that was called a Firefly. It was specifically for kids. And basically, you would. It's got two buttons the police are home. But it looked pretty cool. Or at the time, yeah. So, that's basically it for this review. I'll see you guys next time.